Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know if y'all heard it, but I just, I was literally like, we got to do a quick intro so I don't get another commercial on the video. <laughs> Bang! And just knocked the mic and turned it. It made a weird kung <laughs> sound. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I hope you didn't hear that. Uh, what's up, guys? It's uh, Joel with another Mix It Up Reactions here with my buddy, my co-host, Aww. my friend. H. Jones. And uh, today we're going to be doing something you guys have requested multiple times. That is BTS Butter at the 64th Grammy Awards. So we're going to be watching it. Now, again, you guys know I'm not really uh, connected to the world of dance. I respect that you're doing that and singing and everything else, but I have no idea what's going on or care at, at all. I just never do. I don't know why. I just don't connect to it. But it, it was the same with music too, though. Mm -hmm. You know, I we'd write a song and finish it, and everybody'd be like, you know, no, oh, it's such a great song. Well, I'm like, ah, okay, calm down. It's not that good. <laughs> like I was just very honest. <laughs> it's not that good. I wrote it. It's not that good. I was like, I was like, come on, got to work on it. You know, it's okay. You know, I was never really impressed with my own work either. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. I feel bad for the people I was in bands with because it was very hard. Like, I'd be like, oh, that's a really cool song. And they'd be like, oh, man, you excited? And I'm like, uh -huh. <laughs> like, they're like, well, go on stage. You're like, oh, man, you jacked. You go on stage. Eh. And they're like, come on, man. <laughs> Don't you feed off the energy of the crowd? I'm like, well, yeah, but, you know, I could play a video game right now, honestly. <laughs> like, I was the world's worst musician. It's just horrible. Anyways, but uh, enough about my moronic self. We're going to be checking out uh, BTS Butter live at the Fold Graham House. And uh, it took way too long. <laughs> I didn't do it. That's my bad. I know, I know. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you know when new things are coming out. And go ahead and go to mk5store.com and, and buy some. Uh, just hit buttons and links, descriptions, hey, things like that. Whatever. Shit. What? Click some shit. You got it. Yeah, just click some buttons, links. I don't know. Leave a comment. Share the video. Or whatever you whatever you feel like doing, buddy. Okay. Dope computer work. Can you do that? Can't do what? Oh, any of that? Any of the dancing or anything? No, I I don't have that skill. Oh. No, I thought okay. you're gonna at least say, well, I could take my jacket off and turn. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean that. it was great choreography. <laughs> it was uh an intricate number because it was almost like let's mix butter with the spy world mm -hmm. type thing, which was kind of cool. Yeah. And I like the set design, especially that whole bottom ring of lights. It really kind of popped everything mm -hmm. a little bit out you know and you'll feel notice whenever the color was changing in the lights it was actually altering the background too which was actually kind of cool but uh no no it was good performance it was great performance i saw uh, uh like a lot of people were happy you know and you know enjoying it and because bts is hyper loved amongst the world mm -hmm. but uh funny thing was at the end like benny blanco's face he just looked like like he was just like no emotion, no, <laughs> like 
<laughs> like he, was just, he was standing, but he wasn't like doing anything. Like uh-huh. he was, it was like a dead corpse. Anyways, uh, <laughs> and the only reason I know Benny Blanco exists is because of Dave, mm. <laughs> the TV show, because he was uh, the weird producer guy. Other that, than that jacket part was cool. I was trying to figure out how they did that because they took the jackets off, then they went to a circle, and then when they came out, the jackets were connected. I know they just grab the other person's sleeve, but it happened so quick. And I'd like, did they somehow make the two jackets into just, one? No, I think they just grabbed one sleeve yeah. and they were holding them all tight between each yeah. other and then let them go. And it was like, Oh, it's one jacket or yeah. it's one jacket for each of them. Now it was, they, they yeah. did it so fast. I was like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh well, you could tell cool. they studied that choreography like oh, down yeah. to a beat. And I, I, and I remember that one video that they said, uh, like RM had to do extra training because that was the one thing he hadn't done all the time was dance and that mm. sort of thing. So he had to learn extra hard on how to do it and then became a natural at it. But I'm like, man, their choreography was like synced. Mm. Like there, I didn't see anyone delayed or any hand movement, a little slower than the others. No, that was like in sync. Like it mm. was just perfect syncopation. But uh, yeah, I'm sorry that, Dancing is lost on me. I I apologize. I wish I was different. Believe me, I've had enough ex girlfriends who were involved in dance in some way and who were like, "Oh my goodness, could you just be interested once?" I'm like, I can't feign interest. It's gonna look fake because I've done that before <laughs> and it, it it's not real. My face gives it away. Like that's the problem. I can't help it. I can't do anything about it. There's hints that give it away because I'd go to. <laughs> I almost said her name. I'd go to my ex's recitals or rehearsals or whatever she was doing and whatever play or whatever thing she was doing. And I'd sit there and watch them, you know, rehearsing all these steps and choreography and everything else. And like, she'd be like, Oh, did you see that move? And I'm like, which one? And she was like, (laughs) the blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. She was like, Oh my God. It's the one where I jump, I twist, he catches me, and then I land. And I was like, did you do it three or four times? Because I saw it like three or four times. She was like, no, I've only done it once. And I'm like, did you practice it right in front of me? Like, what is happening right now? Like, I had just no clue what was going on. I had no interest. And it's not that I don't have interest in it. It's just that I don't notice it. I don't observe it. Like. You could be dancing in 150 people could be dancing in front of me in flash mob style. And I'll be like, oh, I got a yogurt shop. Like, it's just <laughs> it happens every single time I've seen. I've had three flash mobs break out near me. And I've just been that guy who's in the background going. There could be someone dancing, gyrating right next to him. And I'd be like, ah, oh, what do you want? Like, just, I don't know why. I just don't notice it. I don't pay attention to it. And like, I like, I love the greatest showman. And that was a lot of choreography and stuff. They had those different numbers and everything else. And like the one scene they had with uh, Zach Efron and Hugh Jackman in the bar, when they do that whole choreograph, I like, I'm impressed. Some I'm not impressed by, I'm not impressed by dancing. (laughs) I'm just impressed by the choreography and the skill and the time it takes. I'm impressed by the dedication. Mm. That's, that's what I could say. But if they had removed all the dancing from that scene and just sang that to each other or talk to each other about it, I'd have been like, yeah, it's the same. Like (laughs) I wouldn't have noticed a big, I wouldn't have noticed a huge difference. It Mm. would have just been, Oh, he's singing it instead of talking and Oh, he's dancing instead of just singing it. Yeah. Mm. I don't know why. I wish I was different. I wish I was more different. I don't think I've ever really been into anything involving dancing ever. Like I even got bored when I'd see like in living colors dancers and they'd go on a dance Mm. troupe in between skits. And I'm like, I got to sit here and watch this for two minutes. Everybody else loved it. And I know that's how Jennifer Lopez got her start. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I can go to the bathroom. Like that's what I did. Like I was just, and I was a kid then, and I was just like, oh, uh, comedy. I'm here for comedy, not here for dancing. Like I'm just, I'm weird. I'm super weird. I don't think I'm that weird. I think there's a lot of people like that. But Dancing the Stars was super popular, and I watched 27 seconds of one episode and went, 
not nah, not doing this again. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. It's okay. It's okay. We still love you. Yeah. But no. Sorry, I just want a tirade just totally douching on myself about how horrible I am that that's nope. the second time today. You feeling okay? No, to talk just, somebody. How does of, that make a you a lot feel? of dancing keeps happening around me, so I'm trying to <laughs> trying to be honest about it because i don't want people to be like oh you like you know how you have that friend who's going to be like oh you know if you don't like sushi but if you try it on a tuesday at this place with me at 3 p.m that's right. you're gonna love it that's and then right. i do it and i'm like i didn't love it <laughs> well there's something wrong with you man like that's what it ends up being every time at the end of it and everybody's like oh you'll be impressed by this and i'm like nope they're never how about, right how about this how about this would you be impressed the fact that not only with they're dancing, but they're actually singing live? No, no, no. And I am impressed by what they're doing because of the dedication, the skill it takes to do it, the prowess, all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm impressed because they're an amazing group and they're skilled and they sing beautifully and rap beautifully. Okay. I'm impressed by that. I'm just trying to be honest and say that dancing doesn't affect me. So mm-hmm. that part I'm not really noticing. As much. It was just the card. Yeah. So if you're ever like <laughs> commenting like, oh, you're going to love this video, their dance routine, you've already lost me. I'm, I don't care. Is the song good? <laughs> Is the writing good? <laughs> Are Is they it cards? interesting? <laughs> Are they doing something cool? Is there cool art direction? That's what mm-hmm. I care about. He, do you care more about the dancing part? Obviously than I do. I was just happy they were dancing and actually singing. Because yeah, a lot yeah, of times yeah, when they when lip, they start lip syncing. Yeah, yeah, yeah when they start dancing the microphone turns you can off. tell they played with some notes on certain things you mm-hmm. could tell they changed the arrangement slightly here and there well you, I I noticed that when they did that whole breakdown with the lasers they did that right before the rap part yeah rapping doesn't take nearly as much air and control as singing yeah right so they do all the singing and they say okay we're gonna do some more dancing. And while you guys are catching your breath, now we're going to go into the rap section. Yeah, which is smart because you don't see that a lot of times. Yeah. And if you're a dumb dumb like me and you start getting really into the music and then you like run out of breath and you're mm-hmm. like, oh, fuck, I got an entire two verses of bridge and a chorus to do. Yeah. Fuck yeah. me. And you notice the the next part that they sang, that dancing was a lot less, you know, it was yeah, smaller yeah. movements. And then I think all of that's on purpose because you start moving around, you're going to just run out of yeah. air. And you're like, that's true. <laughs> Uh, you're supposed to be singing right now. Uh, what? Okay, next verse. Damn it. Lost it. Yeah, that's the hardest yeah. thing to do. Yeah. So, they, so they, I have mad they respect break for all them. that up really well. I have mad respect for them because <laughs> you know they're going to have everything down to a T. Mm-hmm. I'd honestly like to see like a video of them like trying to come up with something off the dome. I would love to see something like that. They had uh, not writing songs, but like literally jamming out off the dome. They said uh, it was in that um, that intro video. One of the guys did that with his his uh, with his fans. I think it was during COVID. I can't remember who it was, but I remember he went to a room and he would like make up songs right then and send them to people. Oh no, I meant like them as a group, like everybody freestyle. What, what if all of them came freestyle? Or like somebody put down a track and then they just start playing with it. You know, mm-hmm. like I'd love to see that part of it. I'm sure there's a video out there. Army, I know you know that there's some type of video out there, like where they just have a track like, and it's I blaring. It. I got you, bro. Yeah, yeah, it. right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I, again, I'm not trying to diss their skill and prowess and dancing and everything. It's just lost on me, okay? So don't feel bad He's or anything. not a big dancer. No, I'm not a big dancer. I don't really care. Dude, even with women I dated, they would get so angry because they're like, hey, let's let's do, uh, uh, what is it called at a country bar? What is it called? Line dancing. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Let's do that. It's very simple and easy. I'm like, I just don't care. They're like, oh, Joe, you don't ever want to do anything. <laughs> and I'm like, fine, let's go do it. And so we're doing it. And it's really not hard line dancing. It's very easy. And then uh, she's like, oh, my God, wasn't that fun? I was like, eh. <laughs> and she was like, are you kidding me? And I'm like, dude, I didn't take any enjoyment out of it. It was just literally like, like the hokey pokey was boring. <laughs> like. That's what it feels like to me. And she was like, you know, like I was like, look, the hip hop stuff I used to do back in the day was fun because it was difficult to learn it. But once I learned it, then I got bored. But that's how my life's always been. Mm. 
that's what I figured out was like, like when I'm in a band and I join a band, I'm like, oh, cool. Let's play with things. Let's do this. Let's play with ideas and genres and blah, blah, blah. Like, I think that's what it is. I just get bored. Yeah, listen and then to I'm like, you're like, hold on. You played that lick like two months ago. You ain't learned anything new. No, I'm good. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> But it's just, it's that whole thing of like, same just, drumsticks from last year. I just can't do something over and 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 expect different yielding results. It's not always going to be that way. So I usually get bored very quickly, but it's not like I don't stick around. Believe me, I've been in most of the bands I've been in. I was in about a year, maybe two longer than I wanted to be. Like when you, when I first get that feeling, I feel guilty for feeling that way. I'm like, I'll oh, stick around, see what happens, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, after a year, I'm like, I really don't want to do this anymore. And then, it, like, a year and a half, two years later, I'm like, or, like, two years is usually the total. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just done. Like, this stuff that we're doing here is fun because <laughs> it's endless. That's why I like doing it. Oh, It's endless. You can talk about anything, do whatever you want, say whatever you want. Within reason... <sighs> I love the song. I've always loved the song and the live performance is cool. This is again, why I didn't want to like do these things. I know butter. We did a while back, Mm -hmm. you know, but I really don't want to do a lot of the live performances because it's based on just choreography and skill and prowess and dance and stuff like that. And I'm like, cause I know it's going to sound like I'm being a dick. I'm not, (laughs) I love BTS, but I don't care about dancing. <laughs> I don't care I just anything want the about the dancing version of BTS. I just Can don't just care about it. Sit in a room and sing. And well, no, that's boring too. I'm just <laughs> saying, like, I, I just can we not care about that? <laughs> can we not care that I don't care? How about that? Can we not care that I don't care? Because that would be really cool if you guys could not care what I. If you could not care what I. Oh crap. If you could not care what I don't care about, did there I say go. it right? Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> or you just tell me that? <laughs> Can you guys not care that I don't care about it? You that, got it. That'd be cool. That'd be cool if you could do that. <laughs> I'm gonna put that at the beginning. Can you guys care that I don't care about nope, it? Nope, he said it wrong. <laughs> did I say I it wrong? Can I you care. guys not care? I thought that's what I said. That I don't care. That I don't care about. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm weird. It's all right. You only need one friend and I'm here. Well, actually, Lucy was here and she's a dance major. I've never even met her. I don't. She's very sweet. She doesn't exist. I've never met her. Do not be mean to her. I'll cut you. I'm not being mean to her because I don't know her. She's very sweet and kind. Hmm. She's intelligent. She moved my microphone. I didn't appreciate that. Actually, I moved it. But I didn't appreciate that either. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, We love you guys. So we'll uh, see you around. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification. Know when new videos are coming out. Uh, Click some buttons, some links, buy some shit, whatever. Do whatever you want. We love you to death. Uh, Have a good week. I don't know when this will come out. I'm trying to think when it will. I have no clue. I'm going to guess Thursday. Because we're starting to throw the... No, no, this is oh. an official episode. Yeah, this is okay. a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh, then I don't know when this is going out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assume a Monday or a Wednesday. Could be Friday. But <laughs> <laughs> Randomly. Randomly.